Hi, I'm Rabbi Alon Ferenczi of Heskamuna Synagogue in Knoxville, Tennessee, giving you a Shabbat sign-off, something to think about, a little bit of love sending your way this Shabbat. We're reading Parashat Va'etchanan and the Haftarah of Nachamu, that is to say Deuteronomy, roughly chapters 4 through 7, and the Haftarah, the supplementary reading from Isaiah 40. That Haftarah, supplementary reading, starts Nachamu, Nachamu, let you be comforted, be comforted. After weeks, in preparation for Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the Jewish calendar, just this Thursday, passed, a day commemorating the destruction of both temples and many other sundry cataclysms in Jewish history, we turn our attention forward to the month of Elul and, of course, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the celebration of new times to come. And the Haftarah is there to begin the process of comfort, rebirth, and restoration after the difficult weeks that preceded Tisha B'Av, that day of destruction. Yisrael Meir Hakogen, who is the Chofetz Chaim, says that each exile has a fixed end time, even when that end time is concealed from us. The holiday of Tisha B'Av is the commemoration of exile, of destruction and cataclysm. But within that seed, at the end of the Book of Lamentations, and in this week's reading from Isaiah, we're advised, noted, that God will turn God's self back to us and return us to our former days in glorious habitation. Brad Artson said that we will only understand this period, this difficult, challenging, horrible period of COVID and quarantine when we look back on it. We will only know the immense strength and duty we had to bear in living through this period once we allow ourselves to breathe when it's all over, God willing, with vaccine or treatment. And so likewise, when we speak of Tisha B'Av and exile and comfort that comes at the end of an exile, all of these difficult periods do have an end time like a cloud that passes. Sometimes we can't see the border of it. Sometimes we don't know when it is, but we can rest assured in faith, says our tradition, that it will have an end. I have been amazed continually by the amount of strength and courage and perseverance and generosity of spirit that's been demonstrated in these past months. I know it will continue among all of us and many of us. And I know it's hard out there, and I know you're being impossibly brave and doubly strong. Keep it up. You're going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. Take care of yourselves, take care of your health, but also take care of your heart. And know that although we can't predict the end of this long, difficult journey through illness, it will, it does end. All my best. Shabbat Shalom. God bless. If you enjoy talks like this, please do like, share, and subscribe to Eclectic Cleric Music.